YouTube, it's Dave from Creative Ice Media Group here. Um, this is the second video of the 10 step wonder tutorial series thingy my Bobby. And basically, I don't really have a title for this sort of thing, tutorial. It's just a really like quick effect for your photos to like just mess around in Photoshop with because at the end of the day, Photoshop is something you're meant to be having fun with, not just like, ugh, sort of thing, you know what I mean? So I guess I'm going to call this like an Unreal Painting Effect sort of tutorial thingy my Bobby. Yeah. Reason for this, if you look at the before, this is the after right now, if you look at before, if it went, okay, before, that's the, ugh, that's the normal image taken with a SLR of me in Regent's Park. And now look at after. You can see on my clothes especially, the effects of like, the grass is like blurred, painty sort of effect. Yeah, I don't really know what to call it. I just called it because it sounded right, I guess. And it's really easy to do. Um, what you want to do, uh, this especially works really well if you have images of a person that has a lot of skin showing. For example, this isn't exactly the best example to use, but for example, if you were like naked or something. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get at it. Step one, you're going to want to duplicate your image by dragging it, let go, bang, duplicated. We have twins. They just had sex and produced twins. We're going to want to go to filter, blur, surface blur. And this is really depending on your photo, okay? Um, I found out that my radius is an 8 and my threshold is a 5. But depending on the size of your image, and like you basically just have to play around a bit. I can't really tell you a specific thing because it's not like a specific formula. Um, but if already, if you look at a preview off and on, you can see the grass and my jacket are really like already like have a, like really a strong cartoon painting effect sort of thing, and it's really nice actually. So now what we're going to do? Press hit OK. And I would say what you're going to want to do now is uh, duplicate again. Reason being is because just in case you F up, you can just delete and you'll just be safe, okay? So just duplicate, don't argue with me. You're going to want to click on the dodge tool, which is this one here. If you don't have that, just right click and you'll have either burn or sponge. Just click on the dodge tool. Um, zoom in 100% and this is where it works especially well with the skin a lot of skin showing uh, you're going to want to go to exposure around 80 and a decent brush size and if I, if I start doing it you can see it makes me whiter and you might be asking why am I going to want to be getting rid of my tan well not really tan but all that and that and reason being is because that's just how the effect is but I, yeah um, we have that done now what we're going to want to do again duplicate that so we have quadruplets right now uh, we're going to want to go to filter I believe uh, artistic uh, plastic wrap okay and here we have a plastic wrap effect and this again there's no formula you just literally just mess around okay I think mine will be around five. I don't remember what I had under detail, maybe like six smoothness. Yeah, around that. Press OK. And you're done. Alright, now we have that. We're going to go uh, change the path mode to soft light. Okay. Uh, lower the opacity if you wish. Okay. I lowered mine to 80, but you don't have to. Maybe you like that sort of effect. And you're going to want to, with your razor tool, just slightly start erasing where you don't like the plastic effect. So, for example, maybe I wouldn't want it on my face, for example. Uh, I, do, I don't mind it actually on my face, so I'm going to leave it. But if you didn't want it, you just erase the bits you don't. Also, another little tip is, if you remember, I just said do it on soft light. Another nice one is overlay. Um, so just choose whichever one you want. I'm using soft light, so you better use soft light as well, I believe. Okay. 
And the thing with this effect is you'll have a different sort of um, end result each time. Like I kind of preferred my other end result the time before, but that's only because like, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> but it's just a little quick fun thing to do, I guess. I'm blabbing along a lot. I haven't made a tutorial in like months, so I've forgotten how to make tutorials. So yeah, please don't hate me. Rate the comment five stars, please. It really does help me so much, seriously. Just clicking on that five stars really helps me. And every single person that clicks on a five star gets a free cookie. Okay? Well done, guys. I'll send you a voucher for a free cookie in your nearest supermarket. Um, what you're going to want to do now is subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Add me as a friend. Follow me on Twitter, please. Link will be in the sidebar. Um, what's the other thing called? Facebook group page, fan page, join that please, add me on Facebook if you like, if you want to get married, if you want to chat or do work together, uh, la la la, what else is there to say, that's back to your kit, rate, comment, favorite, subscribe, share this video, post on tutorial websites because posting on our tutorial sites, sharing that stuff is helping me go out to a bigger audience, so if you like this tutorial, no, if you wish to say thank you, just share it. Post it on your Twitter. It's like, look guys, look at this porn scene. Yeah. Peace, people. I'm off to go think of more 10 step wonders for you to do. See ya. We don't want to be a bitch.